for uh, Ekta and Anurag and Madhu to join us, after which we'll start talking. Uh, while Ekta and Anurag make the grand entry, like always, I think we'll start talking. Um, so we're all here today um, to thank you guys, because uh, I don't think we were in this state of mind about 10 days back when uh, we didn't know where we're headed and where the film is headed. And uh, we were nervous, we were scared, uh, but then we decided to take this path. But I think little did we know that we've got so many people out there, friends like you, who are going to support us through this journey. And I think from the bottom of our hearts, we want to tell you that there is no way in hell we could have seen through this without you guys. You guys have been just absolutely fantastic. You've been waiting outside our office in that sun, worst weather in the world. You've been trying your best to get every little information that can help all of us see through this journey. And somewhere I think it became a journey for all of us because we're all doing the same job in our own little jobs, whether we're making movies, you're writing, you're talking about what's going on in the world. So it became a journey for all of us together. And uh, I think the verdict yesterday has been fantastic for all of us. And uh, I think the verdict that came was absolutely wonderful for all of us, for the country, for Urta Punjab. And uh, we want to thank the court. We want to thank the verdict. I want to thank all of you. I am not in the Bombay film industry. But when the film industry supported all of the media, you all have the support of the media. And you all have the support of the media. And our team, I want to thank all of you, especially. But I don't know what you said about it. I don't know about that. First of all, anybody who was speaking uh, from our behalf was representing the entire team. And uh, a lot of times when actors come in the forefront, the issue gets skirted, you know, because the focus becomes about some one word that the actor said or some one line that the actor said. And so it was a team decision for certain individuals who will be able to represent this issue the best. I think me and Alia are still new to this whole censorship issue. Uh, there are a lot more people who have had to deal with it for a longer period of time. And there were people who were far more experienced and probably had had to go through this struggle many times before. And they were a lot more uh, evolved. Uh, having said that, Mr. Kashyap has just arrived. Uh, they were a lot more evolved uh, and had a much larger understanding of this issue. Um, so we chose to do it in a way which would be as balanced as possible. And I think the representation was not from a point of view of what will get more uh, you know, headlines, but it was who will speak better and who will represent the film better. And I think uh, I have to thank Anurag for doing that and uh, really uh, taking it upon himself at a time when he has a film releasing, I think just one week after Urta Punjab, Raman Raghav. And uh, it's a very busy time for a filmmaker. And I think it was very, very selfless on his part. And I want to remind people about the fact that, you know, one month before the release of a film is an unbelievably tiring, stressful, scary time for the entire team. People are running from one end to, no to another just to get the film ready in time, to book your uh, theaters in time, to make sure that your mixing happens, to make sure that your dubbing is done, to make sure that your promos are running in time, to make sure that you're being able to promote the film correctly. People are aware of it. And at such a time to deal with this kind of a situation is extremely difficult. And we really couldn't have done it without the kind of absolute uh, relentlessness that Anurag put towards the cause and he really took it upon himself and everybody else probably was able to go out there and do what they needed to do because of him. Um, having said that, I think I have complete, sir, I have, I have, I have complete respect for uh, the judgment that happened yesterday. I think it was an amazing judgment and I think it has provided insight to people on both sides as to how we need to move forward. And uh, so I would say that I would probably agree with everything that the judgment says. Alia, if you can take See, that, please. I, I just want to say something very simply. I completely agree with Shahid that whatever communication that was happening on the, on the team's uh, front was all a team thought, effort, emotion, everything. We all were in this together. But yes, we chose to not say too much because things can be misinterpreted. But I can give you a very personal and maybe a little bit of a naive response that maybe I had. When I heard about um, the, the cuts that were suggested, my first question was to my father, but why and how? But it does not make sense. I was not able to understand. And my father, as Shahid mentioned, there have been people who have fought this and been way mature. My father has been fighting this since 
the longest time. And he looked at me in a way that, Alia, it is, it is something that happens, but go to the court, fight it, and you will, be, you will come out feeling very um, feeling happy because they will always be on your side. And he was very sure about that. Coming back to, again, the statement that Shai made that I am, I, you don't know how happy I was yesterday when I got that SMS that we have passed Urta Punjab with a certificate with one cut. I was so delighted. And that just shows that um, eventually you may have to fight for things that you believe in, but um, the, with the judiciary and the court and the, uh, and the judges, we just, we, we did what we wanted to do. And I feel so happy because I'm a director's daughter. And to know the fact that what a director has to go through when you're saying, ye nikalo, wo nikalo, ye nikalo, wo nikalo. it's like you can't, you don't, you don't understand. The feeling is like your intestines, everything goes all turning all over. So I'm just really happy that we've reached this stage. And yeah, now we can just smile and have the film release. So um, I think the teams have worked together, Phantom and Balaji, and we have a very interesting set of distributors who've supported us through this whole uh, turmoil. And uh, I think we will be having just the kind of release this film deserves and needs. And um, we won't open it too wide, but it'll be um, it'll be a pretty wide release, keeping its genre and its uh, audiences in mind. Aman, <laughs> you want to take that? It's, it's too early to say right now. Uh, by today, tomorrow evening, we'll get a good idea. But we get about 2,000 odd screens, maybe a bit more. Uh, right now, I mean, that's the attempt. So we'll know clarity by, by tomorrow, mostly. Yeah, the, no, I, I think the, it's a, the battle is far from Ofaurta Punjab, yes. We fought, and there was such amazing support this time. The support came starting with Ekta, to Phantom, to the distributors, to the industry, to all of you people. So I think, you know, this wouldn't have possible if everybody did not support it and believe in the fight. There's some people who doubted our intentions. Some people said that it, we are doing it for publicity. Some people said we are, have some political affiliations. We have kept quiet through it all because we believed in our fight and everybody was one. And I don't think there is like, okay, voice probably was mine, but I think everybody was behind me. Otherwise, I would not have gone out there and did all that. And I've not seen this kind of a support. And I feel somewhere, yes, a lot of smaller films are facing that. I read about two films this morning. Huh? I, I don't know about Shogul. I read about one Gujarati film and one Haram Khor. And, and uh, Haram Khor is, in a way, indirectly related to me because produced by Gunit. So, somewhere, you know, and those films can't fight, but the good thing is they have got the letter. Very clearly, I, I saw one letter that they got, which is what we were fighting for, which we were not getting. They've got the letter that clearly says they can go to revising or FCAT, that they can skip revising and go to tribunal, which is a good thing, which is a great thing. Because with that letter, then a lot of fight is minimized. So, but I think somewhere, Yes, we need to change the system. And I think Mr. Jetli has made a statement in regards to that. Mr. Rajivadan Rathaur also said something in regards to that. And they have made us believe that it will happen too, It will happen soon. But the way they have said, we are hoping that it will happen this month. You know, in the sense. So let's see that it's not like one of those promises that was made two years ago. So it all remains to be seen. And I remember there's a group of people who protested against water. That group was formed overnight when the protest started. It was called Kashi Suraksha Sangar Samiti. I still remember that day. It did not exist the day before. So these things happen and these things happen all around. So you, you can't because people sometimes jump in. It's like some random person will file a case somewhere just because he fancies a star. And he'll put a case against Shahid because he wants to see Shahid. Then when Shahid would go there, all he'll say, sir, can I get a selfie? <laughs> you know, those kind of things happen across the country. Somewhere, we are the soft target. And I think somewhere we should stand up and say, stop making us the soft target. It's very easy to pick anything against someone and say that, ki yaar, inhone ye keh diya ya wo bol diya aur hum offend ho gaye. Hum to sara din Twitter pe koi na koi humko offend karta rehta hai. Ever uh, follow my stock like this? If it's 9% <laughs> no, up or 10% down, CNBC, so that's why what is important is a film was made with yeah. Abhishek's conviction and um, the only strategy now after all the delays that we've gone through is to release it well. As far as I'm concerned, Anurag 
and the team have given their best to put this film, fight for this film. Abhishek has done his best. And as far as Balaji stocks, <laughs> uh, as I said, there are enough ways to keep the stock up. And I hope it keeps staying up, but it's not my first and foremost concern. Okay.